So this is your first time here. You have a history of amputation. You've had uh, diabetes now for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. First, before we started all the other stuff, just listen to your blood flow. Okay. Have you had your blood flow evaluated recently? No, I no? haven't. Okay. seeing is uh, from what I just listened to is that you still have you know some pretty significant blockage of the blood flow to your feet it's better on your right side but it's not great on your right side so we're gonna have you come back to have a more thorough test of your the circulation okay we do that on Wednesdays okay you, can you, are you are you available this Wednesday uh, I think so. Okay. Definitely need you to come back. So, because our, our vascular team comes on Wednesdays. Okay. All right. And they will do a more extensive examination of the blood flow to your legs and to your feet. All right? Okay. Go ahead. I'm shaving this down for you. Um... Something I have at home, mm -hmm. um, aloe vera, something I can put in the water. Okay. And that's it. So, in the past few years, have you seen a podiatrist or anyone specific for your feet? No, I no? haven't. Okay. When was the last time you saw your primary doctor? I saw. Mm hmm. Uh, beginning of this month. And uh, he recommended that you come see me? Yes. Okay. How often do you see him? Once a month. Once a month? All right. So what you have here is a callus because of the imbalance of your foot. Yes. After having all that foot surgery and all these amputations. Yes. So what can happen is that the normal architecture is changed because of the parts of your foot that were removed. Yes. And so you can get one area that bears too much weight under the bone. Yes. And so you end up with the development of this callus. And it's good that you came in today because it was getting very thick. And what can happen as a result is that eventually the skin will break down and, be, and become an ulcer that uh, can get you in the same position that you were, you know, 10 years ago. So, so what, go ahead. The black part came from what? The, the lack of circulation? Is that what we're talking about? Yes. All right. So again, when I listen to your blood flow with my ultrasound, I, you know, picked up that there's definitely a blockage of blood flow to your feet, and so okay. that has to be closely evaluated, more so than than what we're able to do today. Will it require surgery? Well, it surgery? It, it, it may require uh, an angiogram. Okay. okay. It may require further testing, may require more ultrasound, and it may require some, uh, you know, minimally invasive procedures to open the blood flow, open the blood vessels up. Which means what? Well, what they do is that they make a tiny incision in your groin, and then they put a catheter into the arteries in the groin, and guide it down the leg until they find the blockage, till they get to the blockage, then they open the blockage up. I'm going to be asleep yeah. for you, that. That's if you need that. You may get to the point where you don't need that. And yeah, you may be able I'm... to get it done with 
uh, dealt with with just uh, medication, but we'll see. We have to see what the tests show us down the line. I don't want to get too far ahead in the, you know, of what the vascular team would do. Okay. But it's all based on what the findings are. Okay. okay. If they find that, you know, there's a significant blockage that won't be uh, cleared up by medication, then they'll go have, have to go in and open the blockage up. And that's done, you know, minimally these days, not like the big, long leg incisions like you had before when they took a vein from your right leg and put it in your left. Yes. That's that's becoming less necessary these days. What I'm doing now is the nails I'm clipping and collecting go into the lab. And the lab is going to tell me what's exactly okay. causing these nails to look like this, which organisms are doing this. So we'll know the, the best way to take care of it. So you were saying you you since you've had the amputations, you've yeah. never had a you've never worn a prescription shoe or a specialized shoe. No. Okay. That's part of why you develop the callus on your left foot as well, because there's nothing in your shoe to redistribute the weight. Well, I put a sock in there. That's as good. Actually, not because the sock. We'll move around. The sock will change position and shape as you go throughout the day. Yeah. It'll never be in the same place every time you put it in there. And it doesn't redistribute the weight across the foot. Just it only the sock's only gonna work wherever you try to put it. You see what I mean? So you need a specialized shoe with a buffer in the front to prevent your foot from sliding forward inside the shoe. Your left yeah. foot, that is. The, the, the foot with the amputation. Otherwise, it's just going to keep creating problems. All right, you got to have uh, therapeutic shoes on in this type of case. Just wearing a regular shoe with a sock inside it, extra sock inside it, can actually create more problems than solve. Yeah. Okay. But prior to your uh, amputation, were you yeah. getting any uh, regular foot care? No. No? Okay. Yeah, you got a lot of buildup under the nail here. Yeah. It's uh, typical of a fungal infection. I have a fungus on that toe. That's what it looks like. But what I'm sending to can the lab is going to confirm that. Can it be cured? Yes, ma'am. With proper care, medication, regular ongoing foot care. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Okay. Right, you see all this under here? Uh, yes. Yeah. That's typical of a fungal infection. All right, let's clean all this stuff out of here. See all this stuff I'm getting out? Yes. Yeah. That's a dead skin that's piled on top of itself over the years. Oh. You know, fungus, bacteria, all kind of stuff here. It's all coming right on out here. Now, how's the sensitivity in your feet? Do you, can you feel things pretty good? Are they numb? Um, for the most part, yes, numb. Numb? Okay. Well, that's neuropathy. Are you familiar with that term? Yes. Okay. I have that too. Have you ever taken any medication for the neuropathy? Uh, neuropathy, yes. Mm -hmm. What were you taking? Um, 
Never come back. Mm -hmm. The they changed it to a generic brand. Okay. Now, was that helping at all? It does help some. callus build up here on the tip of your toe yes and that's from the shoes the shoes mm -hmm. Shoe, your, your feet banging in the inside of your shoes well they it it, it don't come out mm. I'm getting some more of this build up out of here so if I get a special shoe how mm. long would it take how long to get the shoe uh-huh. It depends on how backed up the uh, supplier is. Because in your case, because you need, you know, basically two different shoes because of the amputation on the side. So they're going to have to make a mold of your feet. You need what's called custom molded. Just something off the shelf is not going to do it for you. Okay. All right. So it's going to be very important that you moisturize as well. Moisturize okay. Because okay. yeah. particularly in your situation with the circulatory issue as uh -huh. well as the neuropathy, yes. your skin would tend to dry out. Yeah. And having dried skin, you know, makes more of this callus formation that you have here. Uh huh as well as puts you at risk of developing cracks in the skin. And cracks in the skin can uh, get infection. Well, uh, we don't want any more infection. I don't want any more infection. No, man. Mm -hmm. Because of infection. All right, looking much better here. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, I want to see you back next week. Next week. We want to see you next week, Wednesday, and get a uh, full evaluation of the circulation in your legs and your feet. Okay. To see exactly where you stand with your with uh, the circulation and see what needs to be done next. Okay to, you know, prevent these issues from ever happening again.